am super excited Are you? about this. So Britt thinks we're just coming to a wildlife park where you can see some animals through windows, through glass. But I've planned something a little bit different than that. Of course, I want a memorable date. So I want to get Britt up close and personal with a couple of Australian natives. Have you ever held any of these ones before? I've never held a koala, no. Have you? Yes, they're awesome. They're one of those animals that you wish you could have as a pet, but you just can't. It'd be rude. It would. But speaking about rude, oh, these are little characters. So this is a second date and... This oh, is how the second date goes. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying... I'm just, just saying... Anyway, you know what? Let's go in. Yes, yeah. let's uh, go in. Uh, I think we should. <laughs> so, make your way around here. There's Steve-o. This one? It's right in front of you, yeah. So this one up here on the right? That's Wayno. Nick's acting like he knows them by name, but obviously it's the first time they've met. Jeff, this one, this guy gets a bit narky at times. Yeah. Yeah, he really can. Do you want to hold one? Yes, I really want to hold one. Right. Sit tight, I'll, uh, I'll go grab one. <laughs> I've always wanted to hold a koala and have a little cuddle, so I'm super excited. <laughs> now, um... Nick enters with a humongous snake. Doesn't look like a koala to me. <laughs> Are you serious? How do you go with uh, with snakes? I probably go better with koalas. Okay. <laughs> if you would like to have a hold, you can. One thing that stands out with Brit is that you know we, we both love adventure. We both love getting out and having a crack at any experience yep. we can get our hands on. Are you experienced in this? Yeah, I'm, I'm a snake handler from way back. Because this is a money can't buy experience. I knew that Brit would be willing to give it a crack. That's, I'm just going to stand here and you do it. OK. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't panic, and he won't panic, OK? OK. All right, here he comes. Oh, my God, he's really heavy, actually. She's a little bit nervous. There you go. Give him some support. But classic Brit, you know, she's up for an adventure and a good time. She took it like a champ, and she was awesome. Are you good to hold him for a second? Then typical Nick fashion, one snake wasn't enough, so he also had to go and get a bigger, better snake than mine. <laughs> so, is this a snake party? Oh, my God. So this one is an olive python, commonly found up in the northern tip of Australia. Yours is actually really cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> is he heavy? Complimenting my snake like that. <laughs> it was definitely hard to look cool, calm and collected with a giant snake over your shoulder, but I think I handled it reasonably well and I ended up quite liking it, actually. Well, what do you say we go for the next part? Yeah, Jane? definitely, as long as it's not a spider. We'll see what I can do. See you, Steve-o. Bye, Steve. So I've got something else pretty special planned for Britt. Um, I don't know if she's going to be ready for what's in store. So just come through, watch a little step right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God! <laughs> Biggest, scariest-looking crocodile I've ever seen. That <laughs> is a 4.2-metre saltwater crocodile. <laughs> now, this, uh, honestly, a money can't buy experience. This is one of those things that people don't do here. We are, we are very lucky. OK. And I think you would love to be the one to feed Big Rocky. Yep. OK, cool, as long as we're not getting in there. <laughs> Let's do it. Over the fence. Now, he's going to come right up to you. Oh, my God. Oh. Here we go. It's got a visual. <laughs> oh, look out. Why are you standing back? Oh, so my god. I don't want to be too close when, when he actually launches. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, here we go. Keep it up. Holy <laughs> oh, truth. Holy. Get in there. That's the go. He's got it. He's got a visual now. Rocky. So this fish is a barramundi and... Oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. He spotted it. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we survived. Oh, my God. To see Brit have a new experience today was at the top of my list. And look at her face and the beat of her heart says it all. How was that? That was so cool. He's so big. You did exceptionally well. Yeah, my heart was really going then. That experience was really adrenaline pumping. I absolutely loved it. 
Oh my God. But here I am thinking, am I actually gonna get to speak to you today or are you just gonna keep throwing me uh, in with wild animals? Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yep, come over here under these little characters. We walk into this beautiful glass sanctuary and there are wallabies jumping around. It's really, really spectacular. Well. Thank you. Cheers to a beautiful mm. second date. Yeah. Well, that big snake. I, I thought mm, I thought when you I You really when I, um, pulled one on me with that. Yeah, when I walk in there with it, I was thinking, how's she gonna react? Oh, I would I'm always up to try something new. That's what I thought. Out of all the stuff we've done today, Britt has jumped on everything with a smile. She's an adventurous soul. And the more I get to spend time with her, the more excited I get. But it would be good to dig a bit deeper on her future and does it match up with mine. What's your mission over the next Next five years, what do you what do you think of? It's funny, I was gonna ask you that exact question. Really? Yeah. Mm. Um, I definitely 100 percent want kids and marriage and like that really, you know, dream family thing. Mm. But I'm not ready for it yet. I'm not finished traveling yet. I still want to travel um, for a few years maybe. I feel you. But I wanna do that with somebody. And then I always pictured somewhere like Byron. I just felt like that was the perfect mix of having the space and the land and the, the right culture. It's just really laid back, really good place to have kids. Wow. It's, it's, it's going to sound like I'm uh, regurgitating everything you've just said. Definitely want to travel and I, I want to travel with someone. Mm. Definitely not, not kids for a few years. Yeah. I do feel there's a few things for me to tick off. Mm -hmm. As sounds funny, it's very similar. <laughs> and actually the area I wanted to pull up well, it's around Byron. <laughs> you really need to get your own ideas. <laughs> Britt and I have an eerily similar plan for the next few years, and we both want to end up in Byron Bay, which is interesting. Not only do we get along you know, and laugh about things, but I think we've got similar experiences and similar philosophies around how we see life and going forward and yeah. whatever. It's pretty similar. Pretty scarily similar. Yeah. Yeah. Nick ticks all the boxes for me, and it just seems like we have so much in common over and over again. And I know that I like him, and I want to see where it goes, but I need to know where he stands. I guess it's like getting to that stage now where we need to sort of find out where we really are with each other. Yeah. And um, I like guess it's sort of hard for me to be really vulnerable in this situation. But, um... What's easier than talking? Is that an uh, indication of where we are? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? That's where I'm at. OK. And I like you. And we wouldn't be on a second date. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't keen on you. Okay. No. I just wanted to know that I only ever came here for the right reason, and um, I genuinely it makes me like a bit upset. But I forget what it feels like to be in love and like, have someone love me. It makes me really upset, actually. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just has been a very long time. I had a rough trip for that. But um. I've been really good about you. I feel it yeah. too. I believe it's growing in the right direction mm. and I like being around you. I know that I won't forget okay. what we have and, and where we've come from, mm. where we are now. Okay? Yeah. on top of the moon right now. Nick really wanted to reiterate that it's definitely still there, what I thought we had at the beginning. And I definitely know he has a soft spot for me now, which obviously gives me that reassurance. <laughs> oh, and? Another two. Goes out and you went around like that. <laughs> yeah. Who's that for? Brittany. Will you accept this rose? Absolutely. I would absolutely love to.
<laughs> the rose obviously means I'm here for another week, but I think it means more than that at this stage of the game. So I feel very lucky. Spending a whole day and evening with Nick definitely cemented that I think he's amazing and that I really like him. So the thought that this could be the beginning of something incredible gives me little butterflies. <laughs> You're a good egg, Britt. Thank you. You're a good egg. Today's date with Britt has reinforced my feelings towards her. The chemistry was pretty strong. And I can see something evolving with our connection. I believe we finished on an amazing note on our first date, and tonight was no different. Thank you. You've got beautiful bloody hair and your eyes and everything. Yeah, we have a beautiful heart, and it's better than anything. And it lasts longer than anything. I felt like I could have stayed there all night. I don't know why you pulled me here, actually. You just took me away from it. <laughs>